presentation. Dwelling in the fortress of the Aquata Hills, a campus of about 15,000 students emanate an industrious one in their turn, who have distinguished themselves to enact the mandate of the effort for business and art for the world. My name is Adu Precious, and presenting with me are Imano Mary, Akinjula Kem Solarit. I will share your day as well. Spending over 15 rigorous hours weekly on defending their host community in adhering to the sustainable development goals, we identify and embarked on a project tagged Adu. In Nigeria, both staple and non staple food are used to produce locally made traditional snacks. These food items include maize, millets, sodiums, beans, granuts, and soya beans. This can either be used as a sole component or a mixture of one or more of these crops. A wide variety of these traditional or endogenous snacks and appetizers, which contributes to the overall dietary nutrient intake of the consumers exist. These snacks have a long history of consumption, especially among the low-income populace. They include kuli kuli peanut balls, dankwa maize peanut balls, robo melon seed balls, kokoro, adun, and masao, Nigerian muffins, among several others. Among this, adun, which translates to sweetness, is a savour snack of Yoruba origin, mostly consumed among the Yoruba who live mainly in the southwestern part of Nigeria. It is a snack prepared from pigeon peel, which constitutes about 80% of the total combination. It is made from the combination of roasted pigeon peel chili beans flour, palm oil, and spicy. A variation of the snacks contain fried red cowpea, soya spicy, alligator pepper, soya beans, and defatted African oil bean seed flour. From pre-colonial times to early 21st century, the role and status of women in Nigeria has continuously evolved. However, the image of helpless, oppressed, marginalized women has undermined their proper studies. Little recognition has been granted to the various integral functions of women performed throughout history. The vision of labor is along gender lines as women control such occupation as poultry, food processing, Max weaving and cooking. Price Water Cooper Nigeria presents a report dated 12th March 2020, accessing the impact of women to Nigeria's economic development through analysis of women participation and representation in the private and public sectors. It was reported that Nigerian women account for 41 percentage ownership of micro businesses in Nigeria with 23 million female entrepreneurs operating within this segment. In monetary value, it will constitute between 10% and 39% of the country's GDP. The soil remains the same for the production of Adu, predominantly produced by women who has made a living from the sale of it all their lives. Our team has dissected the production process and found out that the primitive mode of making this product releases a substantial amount of toxins into the environment through wood burning. The smoke from wood is made up of complex mixture of gases and fine particles, also called particle pollution or particulate matter. In addition to particle pollution, wood smoke contains several toxins. Smoke, emanating from firewood, used in cooking, is the third greatest killer of women and children in Nigeria. Statistics from World Health Organization has revealed. The organization said 93,300 deaths occur in Nigeria as a result of smoke from traditional barman stove. Gradually, the special delicacy is going into extinction due to the rigorous production process, which makes the younger generation not to sustain the produce, unattractive packaging, and market limitation. Our enactors team, after a series of consultation with the local producers of Arden, decided to tweak the production process using an oven to bake the products, which helps to eradicate many ills associated with wood burning. First, 
A gas cylinder is used to eat the hotelly bin before grounding into powdered foam, then baking of the iron. This new method gives birth to the production of iron in different flavors, such as vanilla, milk, and chocolate. Also, our newly found production method rekindled the act of younger generation. In turning to the business of making adun, we were able to train five young women on the use of oven for production process. Currently, one of them has been empowered with an oven and other accessories. The shelf life of adun is about three months. It's usually packed in a leaf, which makes it unattractive and rust in days. Our team came up with an attractive foil pack, which gave the product a first lift from the feedback we obtained from our consumers. We hope to improve on the packaging of our final products so as to increase sales. Our initial production of 450 pieces were sold out, making a profit of about 30 percent. Our team is currently working on our production consistency by encouraging individuals impacted to invest in the new production mode and partner with individuals or group to fund the production. This project shapes and modifies the production of Ardu by making use of an electric or gas oven instead of firewood. Because to access firewood for energy generation, three are to be felling, leading to deforestation and exposing the environment to climate derogation and exposure of users to bad health and well-being. Achieving SDG 3, good health and well-being, and SDG 13, climate action. Project Waste to Wealth. Nigeria, with an estimated 20 million earths of carters, occupies the fifth position in the world in cattle rearing. Cow dung is the undigested residue of plant matter that has passed through the animal's gut. This resultant fecal cow matter is rich in mineral. Cow dung color ranges from greenish to blackish, often darkened soon after exposure to air. Due to the open cattle rearing system that is being operated in this part of the world, cow dung cow operates op defecates openly in the environment, thereby causing air pollution through their foul smell, land pollution, and even water pollution through surface wear off, which can end up polluting other water bodies. Our uh, enacto steam looked at the miners caused by this open defecation and sprang into innovative use of cow dung, thereby reducing it, if not totally eradicating them from the environment. According to Ayurvedum, cow dung is germicidal and has alien properties. We discovered that cow dung antibacterial properties makes it a good natural disinfectant. It is rich in several beneficial microbes like Saccharomyces, Lactobacillus, Bacillus, Septrococcus, just to mention a few. Also, it was found to contain various nutritional components, including minerals, vitamins, potassium, nitrogen, oxygen, carbon, cellular, hemicellular, and mucus. Our team embarked on cleaning the environment of cow dog pollution, which were collected in sack and dried to reduce foul smell. It was added with other materials to make shampoo, baking soap, and toothpaste in proportion. Our final product was packed and ready for market survey. An average one liter of shampoo costs 800 naira. We packaged our product in a three cell container and sold for 200 naira. The product was made available in the local store all around the campus, and an average sales of 100 pieces were recorded in the first week of sale. The team is currently working on expansion of our custom marriage to the neighboring communities through retail stores, shopping complexes. Also, an online marketing medium is being considered. The project identifies four among the 17 sustainable development goals, which are SDG 6, clean water and sanitation, SDG 11, Sustainable cities and communities, SDG 12, responsible consumption and production, and SDG 15, life on land.
We, we are, are in, in a social Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much for your presentation. We will now begin the question and answer. Judges, over to you. <laughs> Let me go first. Okay, so I like the fact that you guys are very great entrepreneurs, right? But then I am very confused about some things and I wanted to clarify, right? Your problem statement was not clearly stated because I can see you have like two products. I think you have the Ardu and the Waste to Life or I don't know, Waste to Wealth. Waste to wealth. So, you, so you have like two products. But you are not able to narrow down. Like, I want to know what your problem statement is with the Aldo, right? Yes. That's okay. my first question. Then you are not able to narrow down your target market. I don't know what your target market is for the Aldo. I don't know what your target market is for the waste to life because I, I wasn't really getting it. What exactly? Are you producing the Aldo or you're producing the oven or you're producing the coal? I want to know what the problem is and what your solution to that problem is for the Aldo, right? And then, um, okay, let's start with that first. Okay, before thank I, you so much for the question, Mark. Okay. Uh, firstly, our problem statement as the follows. Firstly, we discovered that the primitive way of making Aldo release a substantial amount of toxins to the environment through number one, through deforestation, and then number two, through wood burning, because um, the primitive way of making adun, they have to make use of firewood in order to fire the adun. So exposing the user and the maker to a bad health being, and then our team sprang into the innovative use of this process by embarking on the use of an oven instead of firewood in order to produce this pr uh, product. So that is uh, the problem we identify as far as adun is concerned. Then, the targeted audience. Okay, let me talk about Sorry, cow dung. In, in regards okay. to what you just said, yes. Uh, how how did, did you make it cheaper for them to go through this production process? Because using firewood is more cheaper than buying an oven, right? Okay, so our is the oven cheaper than the firewood? Okay, thank you so much for that question. Our team came up with an innovation, which is um, empowering the adult sellers with ovens, whereby they remit a certain amount of the profit they make from the product to us uh, on a monthly basis, about 5% of it they make. So we trained, we are successful, we are able to successfully train five women and we empowered one woman. And uh, part of our projection in the next five years is to be able to ed educate adult sellers within the communities. And after we educate them, empower as many as we can in order to, for them to make use of uh, a gas oven in order to heat their product instead of using a firewood, therefore remitting a certain amount of 5% to us uh, from their profit they make. Okay, so the next question. Okay, uh, that of cow dung, we saw that there are a lot of maintenance that are being caused by cow dung in our society as many of them are not properly utilized and many of them are being disposed and water carries them into, uh, into the river causing a very acidious uh, water, polluting the water bodies. And our team sprang to the innovative use of this candong by uh, extracting them and uh, using them to produce uh, items such as shampoo, toothpaste, and um, beating soap. So I heard you, you said you sell the shampoo for 200 naira, right? Yes. As against 800 they sell in yes. the market. Take me through your production process. I want to okay. know how much you spend on everything, okay. how you go through your production process for you to sell for 200 naira. Okay, thank you so much for that question. Uh, an average one liter of shampoo uh, is being sold for 800 naira. As it's been packed in a 33 CL container and it's been sold for 200 naira. Each, each production process of shampoo cost it about 12,000 naira, and each each piece is being sold for 200 naira. We, each each production process, see us produce 100 pieces, 
are generating a revenue of 20,000 Naira, giving us a profit margin of 8,000 Naira on each, each production process and a profit percentage of 30%. Okay, um, a, a particular liter is 100, is um, 1,000 CL, 1,000 CL, then on each each production process, we are able to generate, on a liter, we are able to generate about um, five, um, we are able to generate about five 33 CL for a single liter. Yes. What is the same similar question? So you produced a bottle of the. What is the cost of production for a bottle? For a bottle, yes. we produce uh, our production process is production of is in quality of about thirty liters per each production process, and each production process cost us about twelve thousand naira, and each each pieces is being sold for two hundred naira, and we produce hundred pieces. And each of it is being sold at a total of 20,000 Naira, generating a profit of 8,000 Naira on each, each production process, giving us a profit uh, margin and a profit percentage of 30% on each production process. On each production process? Yes, ma'am. still not clear. Yeah. Okay. It's still not um, so clear to me. Yeah, maybe um, it's the way you're explaining it, but it's not so clear. Because if you're able to say to me that social liter that you mentioned, the cost of production for that liter is 10,000 and we made it and 10 pieces we and we ma made 15,000 from it. We, so sold it's all the, to we sold all the pieces, we sold 100 pieces on our first week of sale and uh, those are the total number of the production we made. And the production process for the 100 pieces cost us 12,000 naira and each of them have been sold for 200 naira. We sold everything for 20,000 naira. And having a profit of eight thousand naira, the profit, the co production cost is twelve thousand naira. The revenue we generated is twenty thousand naira, giving us a profit of eight thousand naira and a profit percentage of thirty percent. Okay, thank you. Now I was going to ask about the adun that you. Yes. Is it that that product is in high demand within the community where you produce them? Yes. The and, and again, if it was in high demand, what was the reception like? Because this is you remodeling. You're trying to save them the cost of the smoke that you said was the state. Time has order. expired. Judges, please join me in thanking Bamidili Olumiwa University of Education, Science and Technology.